Hi guys and girls, I'm Reefman, and I wanted to tell you about ordering custom tanks and what to expect and all the things you can do when you're getting a custom tank built. So I'm sure all of you have been to an aquarium store. You've seen, uh, you know, the dollar per gallon sale that Petco has every other month. Um, you can get standard 40 gallon, 50 gallon, 55, whatever um, tanks, but sometimes you want something a little bit special or you want something with low iron glass or exterior overflows, or you're building it into a wall or something like that, or you just want a non-standard size, that's when you're off into the world of custom aquariums. There are several different manufacturers of custom tanks. I would recommend looking for one that is near your house because the shipping cost becomes expensive with custom tanks. Remember that shipping is based both on volume and on weight. And a big tank is big in both of those dimensions. Obviously it's in a crate, so it's gonna be forklift territory, and then it's gonna be heavy because it's got thick glass or acrylic and lots of uh, steel bands and uh, you know, a stand and all that kind of stuff. So if you can find a local manufacturer, that's great. I couldn't, uh, when I bought this tank, I was living in Las Vegas. There are, um, well, there's um, an acrylic tank manufacturer in Las Vegas, but I didn't want an acrylic tank. So I went with AGE. They're based in Texas. You can talk to their online sales. Um, I believe the person I talked to, his name is Chris. Great guy, easy to communicate with. You can do it all over email. You will get the chance to decide if you want a rimless tank or like I have um, a steel banded tank. Um, I could have gotten this tank in rimless, but um, I didn't want to do that just because I, I wanted to have the steel band for mounting auto feeders and stuff like that uh, around the top. Um, you can get low iron glass, uh, you can get standard glass. The price on my tank was about $1,000 more for low iron glass than normal glass. But um, as this video that I'll link um, shows, it really is worth the price, I think. So my tank is 72 inches long by three feet front to back and 24 inches, two feet vertical. Um, I really like the extra floor space of the three feet front to back in my tank because it lets you really get some depth and dimension to the rock work that you wouldn't be able to get in something more standard, especially if you have like a 55 gallon tank or something like that that's really narrow, you're not gonna get the same interesting rock work uh, that you can get with a custom built tank. You can also get exterior overflows. Uh, my tank, as you maybe have noticed, has an interior overflow. It's by far the most standard kind of overflow. Um, but if I was doing it again, I would definitely get an exterior overflow. Get rid of that floor space in your tank. You can use it for other stuff and then have the overflow on the outside of the tank. So when you're ordering a tank, obviously you're also ordering a stand, maybe also a sump. When you're building your own stand, you have options like how tall do you want it to be? I'm relatively tall and I always find that I have to like crouch down to look into tanks and I didn't want to have to do that on this tank. So instead of having a normal size stand, I have a stand that is 40 inches tall. And this lets me just look into the tank at a much more natural level versus a smaller, shorter stand. But you'll have problems then with how are you going to fit a 40 inch piece of steel through a door? Um, that won't fit through a standard door. So if you go big enough, you're gonna be dealing with cranes and cutting out a door from your house to be able to get it into your house. Um, to say nothing of the friends you're going to make uh, when you're moving a 2,000 pound aquarium through your house. Um, I definitely had more than my share of friends come over and help me get this tank in to my house. Um, so that was something you're gonna be able to enjoy. But for your stand, Instead of having just one stand, you can actually split it in two. And so my stand is multi-level. It uh, comes up to about, I think, 32 inches or so. And then there's, you know, a separate piece that just fits on top. That's the extra 10 inches uh, to get up to the level of my actual aquarium. And because it's two pieces, it's a little bit lighter, easier to maneuver. But most importantly, it'll fit through your front door without you having to cut it open. When you're considering a custom stand and aquarium, you're also going to need a sump. Um, you can have a sump underneath the tank, that's most common, but if you have room, 
you can do a remote sump, and then you can, you know, the sky's the limit of what you're gonna do. Um, all of the manufacturers also offer custom sumps. So instead of trying to jerry rig one or build one myself um, out of like a 40 gallon breeder aquarium or something like that for my tank, um, I just bought a, an acrylic sump along with the tank. So this will all get delivered to your house in a crate, as I mentioned before. Um, they do a really good job, AGE does, I'm sure all the other manufacturers do a really good job of crating up the aquarium so that it's not going to get damaged in shipping. Then the aquarium is on a pallet and on top of that is the stand. Uh, so it comes all sort of banded together in the back of a semi truck. Um, if you order any of these tanks, I think even a small tank, it's going to come via a less than load carrier um, on the back of a semi truck with hopefully a lift gate. We had some trouble when we were originally getting this tank delivered. Uh, they brought out a truck that didn't have a lift gate. So that's the thing on the back of the truck that you see sometimes and it folds down and then they can use it to raise and lower heavy things. Um, without a lift gate on the truck, you need a forklift to get something like this tank off of the back of a, of a semi truck, which obviously I don't own. So they had to go back and that delayed my actual final delivery for a while. Also keep in mind when you're ordering tanks, it is a completely hand-built custom process. They're going to hand build your tank. They're going to hand build your stand. Your sump might be prefab if you already are just getting a, a standard one, but this is gonna take time. I think the turnaround for me between when I first contacted AGE and when I actually had the tank in my house ready to go was at least the better part of a year. Uh, certainly longer than six months you're going to be uh, waiting for this. And in that time, you'll be able to work with their design team to design exactly what you want. And eventually it'll go off to production. Uh, and then from there, it'll be created and delivered to your house, which all takes time. It's, in, it's uh, several different companies involved in all the different uh, manufacturing steps and, and producing the actual uh, final product that you see at your house. So I hope this was interesting. Let me know if you have a custom tank. I'm curious to see pictures uh, or maybe links. Maybe you can link your build threads on the forums and see what you've got. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed learning about custom tanks and enjoyed some of the, the photos from my experience. Um, so yeah, till next time. See ya. Bye.